Hello guys, welcome to Arun's Neat AVS journey as we are going to cover the entire plant kingdom and animal kingdom in one video audio lecture. So covering the important points makes you to attempt the correct questions in the NEET examination in the last moment. So please cover this chapter as soon as possible. Okay. So without further delay, we will begin. So the system of classification, we are known that artificial system of classification, natural system of classification and phylogenetic system of classification. The artificial system of classification was given by Linnaeus and the natural system of classification was given by the Bentham and Hooker classification. The phylogenetic classification is the most accepted system. It is the also known as the evolutionary history of organisms where the ancestors are the main pillars which will make the generation become more acceptable and clearance towards them. Okay, so uh, plant kingdom we see that algae, bryophyte, pteridophyte, gymnosperms and angiosperms are the five system of classification we are coming under. So in the early system we are used to only the gross superficial morphological characters such as a habitat, color, number and shape of leaves etc. In the vegetative characters that is antrium structure was given by the lineages. These system are artificial and the artificial system gives both equal weightage for the vegetative as well as sexual character. This is not acceptable system because we know vegetative characters are more easily affected by the environment. Natural system of classification developed which were based upon the natural affinities among the organisms and considered not only the external future but also the internal future like ultra structure, anatomy, embryology, phytochemistry etc. It was given by George Bentham and Joseph Dalton. Hooker. Okay. Numerical is based on the taxonomical. We are saying that numerical taxonomy, cytotaxonomy and chemotaxonomy. Numerical taxonomy we can able to see in the computer wise. Cytotaxonomy that is cytological cell information. We can able to see chemotaxonomy means chemical constraints. We are going to see etc. Then we will come around the algae. Algae are the chlorophyll bearing simple thalloid, autotropic and largely aquatic both water, freshwater as well as marine organism etc. They occur in variety of habitats, moist stone, soils and wood. Examples are, uh, some of them are associated with the fungi that is lichen and animals example on sloth beer. The form and size of algae is highly variable ranging from the colonial forms like volvax and filamental form like eulothrix and spirogyra. A few of the marine forms such as kelps form massive plants etc. The algae produce vegetative, asexual and sexual methods. Vegetative reproduction is by fragmentation. Each fragment develops into a thallus. Asexual reproduction is by is by the formation or production of different type of spores. The most common being along the zoo spores, they are flagellated, motile and on germination gives rise to new plants. The sexual reproduction takes place through fusion of two gametes. These gametes can be flagellated and similar in size that is as in eulothrix, non-flagellated, non-motile but and similar in size as in phyrogera. Such reproduction is called as isogamous. The fusion of two gametes that is dissimilar in shape as in species of eudornia as termed as an isogamous. Okay, so volvax it is round shape, eulothrix it is straight filamentous shape, then laminaria it has a frond stipe and hold fast, then fucus with the, we can able to see air bladder, frond midrib hold fast, then dicotia we can dicotia we can able to see frond and stipe. Okay, green algae, we, the examples are volvax and eulothrix, brown algae, laminaria, fucus, dictyota, red algae, forfira and polysiponia. Okay, algae are usual in the man in variety of ways. That is half of the carbon dioxide fixation is carried out by algae throughout photosynthesis. Okay, laminary, many species of porphyra, laminaria, sargassum are among the 70 marine algae used as a food. Then certain marine brown and red algae produce large amount of hydrocolloids, that is carrageen red algae, which are commercially used. Then agar is one of the commercial products obtained from the gelidium and and are found in the preparation of ice creams and jellies. Chlorophyceae, Pheophyceae and Rhodophyceae are the three main classes of algae. Okay, Chlorophyceae are green in color, chlorophyll contents of A and B. Stored food is starch, cell wall is made up of cellulose. Flagellar and number and position of intersection is 2 to 8 equal and epi uh, epical. Then habitat is fresh water, brackish water and salt water. Pheophyceae is also known as a brown algae, chlorophyll, A and C, then fucoxanthin, carotenoid. Then mannitol and laminarin are the stored food. Then the cell wall is cellulose and algin. Flagellar number and position of intersection is 2 and unequal and lateral. Habitat is fresh water, rare and brackish water, salt water etc. Then rhodophyceae, red algae, 
chlorophyll A and D are the major pigments, then phycoerythrin. Fluoridin starch is stored food of rhodophyceae, then cell wall is made up of cellulose, pectin, and polysulfate esters. The uh, flagellar number and portion of intention are absent in the rhodophyceae. Habitat is freshwater, some brackish water, salt, and salt water is in most, etc. Okay. So the examples of brown algae is self-defend helps. Okay, sargassum, that is a mnemonic, sargassum, ectocarpus, laminaria, fucus, dictyota, kelps. Red algae uh, examples are in, are like a golgappa, panipuri. Okay, golgappa, panipuri, that is a mnemonic, that is polysiphonia, PG square, golgappa, panipuri, that is a polysiphonia, porphyra, glacieraria, gelidium and salt water. Okay, green algae examples are chlamydomonas, cara, spirogaira, eunothrix, volvox, eudornia, etc. Then we come under into bryophytes. Okay, bryophytes are the include the various type of mosses and liverworts that are commonly growing in moist, shaded areas in the hills. Bryophytes are also called as amphibians of the plant kingdom. The main type is Anthridium and Archegonium, and Archegonium is present in the uh, female and Anthridium is present in the male. Gemma cups are the main part present in both male and female. Rhizoids are also. Then we can able to see in the Funaria, Gametophyte and Sporophyte are present. Gametoph sporophyte we can able to see capsule, Seta and Gametophyte we can able to see the rhizoids and main axis. Then Sphagnum we can able to see Anthridial branch and Archegonial branch. Okay, then sphagnum, it is a moist provided peat that have long been used as a fuel as a packing capacity material as a transshipment of living material because of their capacity to hold water. Mosses along with lichens are the first organism to colonize rocks and hence are of great ecological importance. Then liverwort exa liverworts example are Marcantia, they are uh, gemme, gemme are green, multicellular, asexual buds, then they are thalloid. They bears foot, seta and capsule. Then mosses. That is a protonema stage. Leafy stage are the two types of stages are present. Then uh, we can able to see fragmentation and budding stages are seen in the mosses. Then it is also bears the foot, seta and capsule. Sporophyte in mosses is more elaborate than in the liverworts. The capsule contains spores. Then funaria, polytectum and sphagnum are the examples of mosses. Pteridophytes, it, it can include horsetails and ferns. Then they are the first terrestrial plants that include vascular systems like xylem and phloem. Then pteridophytes are found in cool, damp, shady places and they are also seen in the sandy soil conditions. The main plant body is a sporophyte. They bear true roots, stems and leaves. They are well differentiated in vascular uh, tissues. Then Selaginella are lang, uh, large macrophytes are found in ferns. The sporophytes because are bears the sporophylls. Then strobili, cone, selaginella, EQ system are mainly seen. Sporangia produces spore by meiosis. Uh, the spores generate to give inconspicuous, small but are multicellular. Multicellular. Free living, mostly photosynthetic thalloid gametophyte called prothallus. Okay. Then the examples are selaginella and salvinia are bears two kinds of spores okay the pteridophyte examples are further divided into four classes that is a psilopsida psilotum lycopsida psilaginella lycopodium spinopsida cq system and pteridopsida dryopterids teris and adianthum then we comes under gymnosperms gymnosperms means naked seeds okay ovules are not enclosed by any other ovary wall remain exposed before and after fertilization secure is one of the redwood tree giant redwood tree that is the tallest tree species then Mycorrhiza, spinous and other cycas are also uh, called correlated roots are associated with nitrogen fixing cyanobacterium. These are unbranched cycas and branched finous and sedarous. They may be simple or compound. The cycas spinate leaves are persist for few years. They can able to withstand in extreme where temperature, humidity and wind. They are needle like in conifers, the needle like leaves reduce the surface area. Their thick cuticle and sunken stomata are helpful to reduce the water loss. Then the gymnosperms are heterosporous, haploid microspores and megaspores. Then we can able to see meiotically they do not have bryophyte. Unlike bryophyte and pteridophyte, gymnosperms, the male and female gametophyte do not have an independent free living existent also. Zygote develops in, in following fertilization. The zygote develops into an embryo and the ovules are developed into 
seeds then we comes into angiosperms angiosperms are the flowering plants we can able to see both uh, eucalyptus it is a tall tree smallest tree is wolfia okay pollen grains and ovules are developed in special insects are called flowers we are uh, able to see the two cotyledons that is uh, one cotyledon we can able to see monocot then two cotyledons are seen in dicot okay then parallel venation uh, trimerous having three members etc these are the main important characteristics of the angiosperms okay uh, we are seen under the pollination double fertilization etc that is uh, the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of a flower is called pollination then double fertilization means syngamy and triple fusion are taking place in the uh, double fertilization the pen that means uh, primary endosperm nucleus develops into the endosperm which uh, provides nourishment to the developing embryo the synergy and antipodes degenerate after fertilization the ovules develops into seed and ovaries develops into fruit this is the important part in angiosperms and the main important question part is in the plants life cycle and alternation of generation it is very 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 important aspect okay so we can able to see three stages that is haplontic diplontic and haplodiplontic okay haplontic examples are volvax pyrogyra and chlamydomonas then diplontic life cycles are fucus that is a alga then we can able to see the gymnosperms angiosperms etc they are also comes under the diplontic stage then bryophytes and teredophytes are haplodiplontic and other examples are uh, we can able to see algal genera are mostly haplontic then ectocarpus polysiphonia kelps are haplodiplontic fucus is an alga that is also comes under the diplontic okay so a quick summary of uh, plant kingdom as of now we are going to see plant kingdom includes the algae bryophytes and neritophytes gymnosperms and angiosperms algae are chlorophyll bearing simple thalad autotrophic and largely aquatic organism depending upon the type of pigment possessed they are of three types that is uh, chlorophyceae vivaceae and rhodophyceae algae usually reproduce vegetatively by fragmentation asexually by the formation of different types of spores and sexually by the formation of gametes which is so isogamy anisogamy and oogamy we can we see that the different different examples are present in the uh, are given below then bryophytes are the plants which can live in soil but mostly dependent on wa water for their sexual reproduction their plant body is more differentiated and then that of algae it is a thallus like and prostrate or erect and attached to the substratum by the rhizoids they possess a root like leaf like and stem like structure the bryophytes are divided into liverworts and mosses the plant body of liverworts is thalloid and dorsiventral whereas mosses are upright slender axis bearing spirally arranged leaves is the main plant body of a bryophyte is a gameto a gamete producing and it is called a gametophyte it bears the male sex organ called anthridia and female sex organ called archegonia the male and female gamete produce to form fuse to form zygote which produces a multicellular body called sporophyte it produces haploid spores the spores germinate to form gametophytes in teredophytes the main plant body is a sporophyte which is differentiated into true root stem and leaves these organs possess well differentiated vascular tissues the sporophyte bears sporangia which produces spores the spores germinate to form gametophytes which requires cool damp places to grow the gametophyte which bears the male and female sex organ called anthridia and archegonia respectively water is required for the transfer of male gametes to archegonium whereas zygote is formed after fertilization the zygote produces a sporophyte then the gymnosperms means naked seeds are the plants in which the ovules are not enclosed by any other ovary wall after fertilization the seeds remain exposed and therefore these plants are naked seeded plants the gymnosperms produce microspores and megaspores which are produced in the microsporangia and megasporangia born on the sporophylls the sporophylls microsporophylls and megasporophylls are arranged spirally on axis to form male and female cones respectively okay so then the sporan germ grain germinates and pollen tubes releases the male gamete into the ovule where it fuses with the egg in the archegonia following fertilization the zygote develops into embryo and the ovules develops into the seeds in angiosperms we say that is a flowering plants the male sex organ called stamen and female sex organ called pistil are born in a flower each stamen consists of a filament and an anther the anther produces pollen grain that is male gametophyte and me after meiosis the pistil consists of an ovary enclosing one to many ovules within the ovule the female gametophyte are embryo sac which contains the egg cell the pollen tube enter the embryo sac where the two male gametes are discharged one male gamete fuses with the egg syngamy and the other fuses with the diploid secondary nucleus that is triple fusion okay triple fusion and syngamy these two are joined together to call as double fertilization and it is unique you unique future found only in the angiosperms the angiosperms are divided into two classes is dicotyledony and monocotyledony so the important parts of the life, uh, is the life cycle of sexually reproducing plant there is an alternation of generation between the gamete producing haploid gametophyte spore producing diploid sporophyte however different plant groups are individual that is haplontic diplontic and haplodiplontic haplontic examples are chlamydomonas volvox pyrogyra diplontic example it is alga fucus then gymnosperms and angiosperms are also seen in the diplontic then haplodiplontic comes under bryophyte and teredophytes okay ectocarpus polysiphonia kelps are comes under the example of haplodiplontic algal genera are haplontic fucus is a diplontic life cycle okay
so strawberry cones are selaginella equisetum microfil are found in selaginella microfil are found in fern homosporus it is the most of the uh, pteridophytes then heterosporus is found in selaginella and salvinia okay this is about the plant kingdom covered under in 15 minutes of time course so thank you so much i will cover the animal kingdom in the next audio notes okay so our ultimate plan is to cover the entire audio notes of biology within april 5 of new course and in saturday we are going to cover the entire human physiology and in 12th we are going to cover the reproduction in organism uh, human reproduction and reproductive health on sunday so 10 chapters in one day we are going to cover totally we have three hours of due course to cover these 10 chapters okay so make sure you like share comment and subscribe to arun's native ibs channel thank you have a great day ahead